Breaking here at 4, the world is mourning the loss of a legendary actress. Betty White died today at the age of 99, just weeks shy of her 100th birthday, leaving fans saddened but with fond memories. Nikki Batiste takes a look back at Betty White's career. Hi, Sue Ann. How are you? I didn't sleep a wink all night. I feel wonderful. Before she became a household name on the Mary Tyler Moore Show, Betty White was a familiar face on TV, hosting parades, appearing in TV commercials. Your man's valentine is sportsman toiletries, your gals. And as a regular on game shows, from To Tell the Truth to The Match Game. I'm the first one finished. You're the best. You were finished a long time ago, sweetheart. <laughs> to her favorite. Well, here's your host on Password, Alan Ludden. But the role of man-crazy happy homemaker Sue Ann Nivens on the top-rated Mary Tyler Moore show made her a star. It became her trademark, a sweet little lady who says not-so-sweet things. Sue Ann. Yes, Lou. Could, could you do me a favor? Well, maybe at my lunch hour. <laughs> <laughs> In 1985, White took on a new role, playing the lovable, naive Rose on The Golden Girls. Even a trip to the bank can be exciting if you wear a ski mask. <laughs> Considered one of the most progressive TV shows of all time, the four older single women living as housemates in Miami raked in awards and maintained a cult status for decades. Who's that at the door? It's me, Blanche. As White got older, her popularity actually increased. You're playing like Betty White out there. That's not what your girlfriend said. The 2010 Super Bowl ad for Snickers was such a hit that it started a Facebook campaign for her to host Saturday Night Live. Betty White. A few months later, she got the gig. We love you. The appearance earned her a seventh Emmy Award. That same year, she also starred in yet another sitcom at age 88. Try them on, Joy. You're the only one here with man hands. And at age 96. Oh, my goodness. White received a rousing standing ovation at the 70th Emmy Awards. She thanked her fans and said it was incredible that she could stay in a career so long and still have people put up with her. Nikki Batiste, CBS News.